This tutorial is going to target the header area in Gravity Forms so we can style it with some custom styling. So we just have a Gravity Forms set up here and this has got a form ID of four. And we just have a single line text field in this form, nothing else. If you go into the settings, see we've got a form title of styling Gravity Forms and a form description of this form is created for styling purposes. And it's this title and description that fall under the header region in Gravity Forms. So the, this is what we're going to look to target and style now. So I have a new post and I've got a Gravity Forms embedded, the ID of four, and I've said to show the heading, show the title and the description. So we'll just view this. And it's this section here, this is the Gravity Forms here, and it's this top section here, this top title line in this description that fall under the header. So that's what we're going to look at now. So what we have to do is you have to go into the back end of our WordPress website and go appearance and editor and we'll style the CSS style sheet. So it opens the CSS style sheet and if it doesn't, you will find a link down the side to click on it to open the CSS style sheet. Just go right down to the bottom and we'll enter the code needed to target this particular element of the gravity form. So what we need is body hash g form wrapper and we could just leave it as wrapper if you want to target the header region of every single form on your site but if you want to target an individual form which is what we want to do here we need to put the form id in now which is underscore four for our particular form and it will be a different id for your forms and it's dot g form underscore heading and then open and close curly brackets and this is where we're going to put the code okay so we'll say we want to put a border around this header region so we just type in border and then we'll say we want a solid line we want to be three pixels in thickness and we want it to be a red color let's update this form update the style sheet and then we'll refresh our post See so now we have this red border around this header region. Okay, we'll say we want to add a bit of padding here to push it away. And also we'll change the color of the text to blue. So we'll just do a little bit more styling. So we'll have padding, we'll say 50 pixels. So we'll have quite a lot of padding. And we'll say color to target the color of the font. And we'll say blue. Just update. refresh this and the right has turned blue and we've got a lot of padding around it so there you go it's a quick tutorial looking at how to target the header region in gravity forms make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel so you get updates as soon as i've got new videos ready for you and also head over to my website which is www.neilcurtis.me where i have lots more guys tutorials about gravity forms and wordpress and other web design things.